Hi everybody, this is the original Josh back again with Cronsley USA Pressure Washer Perfection. And today we are continuing our uh, electrical troubleshooting series, but this is where things get a little weird because we're going to look at the relationship between an electrical component and a mechanical component of the pump that, uh, that controls the total stop system. So uh, we've looked at and troubleshooted the micro switch box in another video and we've replaced the micro switch. Now we're looking at the relationship and the interaction between the two and how that could create an issue um, with your total stop system. If you encounter a problem with the total stop system on your Kronzla, this is one of the two items that it could be. So you could release a trigger on the gun and expect the motor to stop, but it doesn't or you squeeze the trigger on the gun and expect the motor to start and that doesn't occur. In that case, the cause would be related, is most likely related to the control piston of the micro switch, not necessarily the micro switch itself. So we've got the uh, luxury of YouTube magic working in our favor right now. So I've already taken the liberty of loosening some things up so you will require tools for this, but You've got your flathead screwdriver, remove your two screws from the pressure switch box. We've done it several times before, so it should be familiar. So this pops right off. You can tuck it out of the way. So as we said, the micro switch interacts with the control piston right here of the, press, of the pump housing. When we release a trigger on the gun, this small silver button in the center of the brass fitting pops out just about an eighth of an inch. That is far enough for it to push the little button inside the micro switch housing and tell the machine to stop running. If you were to experience where the triggers squeezed and the motor doesn't come back on, that pin could be stuck in the outward position. If for some reason you release a trigger and the machine doesn't shut off, then the pin could be stuck in the in position. Some of the things that could lead to this are calcium, uh, high mineral contents in your water, uh, perhaps you ran it with uh, off of your water tank on a uh, mobile detailing setup and it wasn't particularly clean water, sat in there over the off season, caused a little uh, grit in there. And freeze exposure can sometimes cause uh, the little O-rings and springs in there to get pushed to skew. So it revisits the reason why we want to make sure that we protect our pressure washers from freeze. Uh, so right now we're going to take this pin out and take a closer look at it so you can see what it what it looks like and how it should look. So as we take this out, uh, we're going to need a 22 millimeter wrench to unscrew the fitting. Now, as I mentioned before, I have already loosened this up or maybe am I just that strong? So once you get the fitting unscrewed from the valve housing, you'll notice that it can kind of pull out and the pin may stay inside the housing. <clears throat> now it's important to keep an eye on the parts as it comes apart because it's easy for little pieces to hit the ground, roll away, and you also want to maintain the order of the parts. Or you could refer to your manual, which I know that you all kept. Uh, I didn't. So you can find it online as well. But here is our pressure switch control piston. This is what the piston looks like whenever it has all of its parts. But as you can see with this piston, some of the parts are still inside the valve housing. <clears throat> so if the pin was stuck in the outward position or stuck in the inward position, sometimes just removing it could either uh, clean off the little mineral deposit that's preventing it from actuating, or may even, you know, if an O-ring got slightly uh, pressed to skew, this might give us a chance to line it back up properly and this could potentially cure the problem, uh, an error or glitch with your total stop system and you may not need any parts at all. But when you get this out, you're gonna need your handy little pick to get the rest of the O-rings out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. <clears throat> so here we have our pressure switch assembly the control piston assembly. I can see all the pieces. Uh, in the other end of the fitting, you have another collection of the brass washer Viton O-ring and PARBAC. Make sure that those don't get uh, lost either. But 
take a uh, close look through the center bore. Make sure that your pin can actuate freely. Maybe take those springs off and run the pin, piston back and forth and see if it's getting caught in any particular place. You could clean this up with a rag or a little bit of emery cloth. Reassemble it and then retest your machine and see if that makes the, the total stop function go back to normal. Uh, if there is something wrong with this, it's most likely going to be in the form of a broken spring. That might happen as a result of freeze damage, but more often it's because you've had a leaking gun jet and this thing's been short cycling over and over and over and over again. So uh, make sure you keep your accessories in nice tight shape. So once we've got our control piston put back together or we have a replacement, make sure you have all your parts, grease it up with your preferred lubricant, reinstall, hand tighten until you get to the o-ring and then we'll use a wrench to snug now did you see that that's just snug you don't have to necessarily be a gorilla when you tighten it down just snug <clears throat> now as you see right here the pin is flush with the face if it was still defective we may see the pin already sticking out like so. All right, so once we've got that snug, reinstall your micro switch. And at this point, if my piston's back together and I can see that it's not sticking out when it shouldn't be, it most likely is going to operate just fine. If you uh, experience a total stop malfunction where you're letting go of the trigger and it's not shutting down the motor, Pay attention to your gauge. If the gauge isn't dropping to zero, then that means it's not going into bypass and that's not necessarily related to the pressure switch. That is the pressure switch not doing its job because the unloader valve is not doing its job. And that also, separate video, look in the links in the comments below. So if you have any additional questions, you know where to find us, call us at our office. This is Krenzley USA, Pressure Washer Perfection. Krenzley USA, Pressure Washer Perfection.